France is convulsing again, fractured over changes to public pensions that would make people work longer to get them. In Paris, tear gas filled the air as protesters, some of them anarchist troublemakers, according to police, set bags of garbage on fire. The city of Rennes looked like a battlefield, so did not. We have to block the country in a strong way that the government cannot ignore the people's will. People will now have to work until they're 64 before drawing a pension, up from 62. Du but the measure was so controversial, Macron's parliamentary allies had to resort to a rare procedural move to force it through without a vote. His government barely survived a no-confidence motion. Réforme, elle est but in an interview, he was unapologetic. Et plus on va attendre, plus il se dégrada. The longer we wait, the worse the situation will get, he said. This parliamentarian represents French citizens living in Canada and the U.S. And he said no one wants to be told they have to work more. This is a country that has a tradition of demonstrations. But if you want to get things done at some point, you have to go, to, uh, have to go through this. Perhaps, but the demonstrations Thursday were the largest yet. And even though the bill is now law, people are continuing to fight, angered over how Macron rammed it through, says this political scientist. So now it's becoming something very special because it was against that specific pension agenda and it becomes something more institutional, more related to something which is related to democracy. 